So the topic of recruiting is very important when you're beginning your CS Principles course. So there's a few benefits and advantages to this being a, a fairly new course. So there's a lot of curiosity that students may have, and the curriculum is a lot more dynamic, we believe, than the current AP, so it could be more appealing to a broader demographic. There's also a lot more flexibility that you may have in teaching this for the first time, especially while it's a pilot, so you can be more creative and let your, your students be more interested in exploring different things as they work on the computational artifacts. Also, there's a new wave of computer science awareness. A lot of the effort by Code.org has brought that on. So CS Principles is coming right at a sweet spot when there's a lot of national attention on computer science. However, there's a lot of challenges also in recruiting that we found. So there's advantages of being a new course. There's also some disadvantages. So there are several misunderstandings and misconceptions about what computer science principles is all about. And we've also found there's a lot of misconception among guidance counselors. So that's, that's an important topic that we would suggest you work with your colleagues who are counselors in your school to make the goals of computer science principles well known. So there's a lot of places to go for help with that. The National Center for Women in IT, NCWIT, provides a web page totally dedicated to that. And a lot of their staff are, are focused on working on issues of improving the education of computer science to counselors. So if you go to the NCWIT page on Counselors for Computing, there's all kinds of resources there. There's webinars, there's even cards that show pathways to different careers in computing, there's slides, there's even like lesson plans and, and notes and specific things for counselors. They also have a, a kit that you can order for counselors, so there's a URL for that also on this slide, and that's very useful. It's a really nice kit that has all kind of a collection of materials that your counselors may find useful. We're also very open to sharing all of our resources in the CS for Alabama project. We have flyers that we provide to our teachers to help them in recruiting that are, can be customized to their, their specific school, their mascot or the teacher name or their particular contact info. So there's a link to that out on the Piazza site and some other places that you can find where we're sharing out our materials from our own internal Alabama project. So feel free to customize that. We also ask you to go on Piazza and begin sharing any resources you may have found or any other things that would be useful to recruiting that you'd like to share with some of the other participants. So we'll have a dedicated post just to recruiting kinds of artifacts and resources that you can share with everybody. You also may want to check out the tapestry workshops that are done by the University of Virginia and the, and the Cahoons. And that's a workshop that's focused specifically on addressing diversity within computing and ways and strategies for being aware and more sensitive to needs of, of others who, who may be coming into computing and, and may have some background that needs to be discussed in terms of making them more comfortable with computing and just in general raising the awareness and in including students from all kinds of different backgrounds that may, may not be typically in the current AP exam that we're trying to broaden with computer science principles. This slide has some web pages that point to the tapestry workshops. If you haven't seen Seth Rachelson speak before, I encourage you to do so. So Seth is one of the most dynamic speakers that I've heard, especially on the topic of recruiting and some of the amazing things that he has done at some of the schools in Florida and, and that he's worked with and raising awareness of computing across the whole school and changing the whole culture of computer science. So he has a lot of really good examples and some advice and he's a really dynamic speaker that I think you'll, you'll feel inspired yourself after hearing his talk. So there are a few links to some, some of the uh, talks that Seth has given, and you can find those also on this slide. Finally, at the White House last year, there was a special panel on champions of change, in particular uh, dealing with the issue of tech inclusion. So this has been documented and is archived on YouTube, and you can find the URL on this slide as well. There's actually two panels. Um, Seth is one of the panelists on that, and there's, there's two other groups of panels that provide an hour or two of different topics related to recruiting and how computing can be presented in a more diverse and engaging way. So I, I have the actual timings when the two panels begin. So if you have an opportunity, please check out this. Again, work with your counselors if you can and help improve the awareness of computing. We found that some counselors were treating CS principles as a course where they would place those who either need deep remediation or um, where all the ninth graders would go for a general elective. And we just need to remind our counselors in a general way that this is an AP course and will be at the level of expected AP rigor. So we have to make sure that the students who are placed in this course have the background to be successful. So you can turn around your school like Seth did and present 
computer science in a really engaging way, and we hope you'll consider some of the resources that we just discussed in this part of the unit.